Hi, this is Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about how to test your wheel bearings to see if they need replaced. Uh, last week I did a video on how to replace the wheel bearings uh, and I forgot about uh, telling you how to check to see if they need to be replaced. So put your hand on the top of the tire and your other hand on the fender up here to stabilize the bike. Hold on to the bike up here and then you want to push back and forth like this to see if there's any side to side play in the bearings. So this one is perfectly tight. I'm just kind of moving the whole bike at this point. It's perfectly tight. I'm pushing like this back and forth, back and forth. If there's a no play in there, then the bearings are good. If there's some, you know, just a little bit of play, you might be able to squeak out another ride. I personally wouldn't do that. If there's a lot of play, if you can feel it go clunk, 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 then you better change them right away or you're up, taking a chance of the bearing completely failing and at that point it will explode and, and, and destroy the hub. Then you're going to have a very expensive repair. Wheel bearings and seals are pretty reasonable, $50, $60 range. So let's move up to the front. Before I forget, on the back wheel, you always want to make sure your axle is tight. You don't want to be feeling free play from a loose axle. So set that first. Same thing in the front here. Uh, recently one of my goon riding buddies bought a front wheel assembly from me and a week or two later he was complaining that the front wheel is loose, that the bearings were going out. And I was like, there's no way. So I said, bring it by. So the first thing I did was I checked the front axle and he had not installed the front axle properly. So the axle was not pulled together to where it was keeping everything uh, tight like it should be. So if you don't know how to tighten the front axle properly I'm going to go over that real quick because he actually did it again a couple weeks after that. I was out on a trail ride with him and I grabbed it just to see and it was loose again. He had done it twice. And of course he swore up and down both times that he had tightened his axle correctly but he hadn't. So when you install the front axle obviously get the axle in, put the axle nut on over here, snug it up until the axle spins. Then on the opposite side on the right hand fork leg, tighten just one of the pinch bolts. That's enough to keep the axle from rotating and then tighten this up. If you're a Tarkoholic, look up the spec. I'm not. I just tighten them. So you tighten that up. Uh, then at that point you can tighten these two pinch bolts. You can loosen the other one, push up and down on the forks so that the, the right fork leg will center on the axle. There is no centering on this side. That's uh, there's a shoulder on the axle and it pulls it all together. It just locks into this side basically. The other side is what you have to get the fork leg to center on the axle. So have the pinch bolts on the right fork leg loose, push the forks up and down with the brake on and get that to center on there. Now if your axle pushed in super hard you might want to backtrack a little bit and polish out the, the uh, dropout. This is called the dropout uh, of the fork to make sure that the axle slides in easily. Because if it's bound up in there, then it's not gonna center itself properly. All right, so once you've determined that the axle is tight, then you do the same thing as in the back. You put one hand on the top of the tire here, and the other hand on the, on the fender in this case, because you have to stabilize the bike so it's not wiggling with you. And then push back and forth, back and forth. And I'm sure somebody's gonna ask me how much play is acceptable, no play is acceptable. If there's any free play in there, and it's, it's a solid feel, it's not, uh, I mean, I can push on this hard and get kind of a squirminess, that's just a tire. If you feel a click click or a clunk clunk, that's the wheel bearing needs to be replaced. So guys call me up and say, I've got my tires off, got my wheels off the bike, and I got my finger stuck in the bearing here and it feels a little rough or it turns kind of hard or whatever. I do none of that. I, to me, that's a total waste of time. This is the only test I use for checking wheel bearings. Wheel bearings are, are, are ball bearings, and ball bearings are extremely durable. That's why they use them on wheels. And they can take a real beating, and if they're rough or if they're rotating a little hard or whatever, none of that's really that important. The only thing that's important is the clearance. If there's clearance in the bearing, too much free play, they need to be replaced. That's all for now.